Hello, good morning. Welcome back to another Glory Stories. This morning, I'm at a black sand beach here in Hawaii, and let me tell you, this is, this is not a calm day to be at the beach, and the wind is hectic, so I hope you can hear me at all. But I wanted to say, guys, we did it. All 10 days of 10 days of stories. Woo. Now, in the first video, I made you guys a promise. I said that if I successfully did all 10 days, then I would send 50 of you a handwritten postcard. I have these adorable postcards I found from a vintage shop when I went home. And some of them are from Toronto and Canada and Niagara Falls where I used to live. If you want to have a postcard from me, send this email, your address, your name, and something about yourself. Something I can write to you about. I want these to be personal and fun because I love writing letters to my friends and my family members. So shoot it to this email, glorystory7 at gmail.com and I hope I get to write you a letter. A few weeks ago, I wanted to do something cool on this island. There's so much to do that I haven't even touched, so I looked for a little getaway. Somewhere to stay for a night that would be relaxing and fun. But before we get there, hit the subscribe button if you dare. Who knows? Maybe it'll help your chances of getting a postcard. Whoa. Whenever I do these postcards, I'm gonna open up my email and scroll down to randomly select someone to send a postcard to. So I hope you get picked. But if you don't, no, it's not because of you. Who knows, maybe I'll send out more than 50. Look, I found a friend. Look at that guy. There's like 20 more over there. I have sand all over my face. <laughs> I'm almost to my house for the night. I'm pretty excited to see it because it's a tree house. Is this it? No. Wait, is this it? No. Hmm. Okay, I think I passed it. Oh! Stop it. Stop, that is so cute. Are you kidding me? This is so cute. I love this little tree house. Yo, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a fun night. Look how cute it is on its stilts. This little tree house. <laughs> Let's go in. <laughs> a pulley to help you take up all your stuff and let's go find out let's start with the food it is way harder doing this one-handed I will let you know Guess what, folks? It works. <laughs> That's sick. You want to know something kind of sad? That's the most I've handled ropes this year, and I literally lived on a sailboat. And they're gonna come back on me and be like, "There are lines." Same thing, bro. Same thing. This gorgeous treehouse is located in Volcano on the big island of Hawaii, and it's only about a mile from Volcano National Park. And yes, there is an active volcano in that park. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a tour of my getaway house for the night. Okay, so you walk in and it looks like this. <laughs> Literally just one big massive space to do everything. We have a big cozy bed. We have a whole bunch of Hawaiian decoration on the wall. We even have a fireplace. That's gonna be cozy. You know I'm gonna turn that on tonight. And that takes us to the kitchen. It has a complete fridge 
and freezer. All the amenities, everything you need to cook a good meal. And here is the reverse view of the place. We have the bed. <laughs> the only thing that would make it better is if the ceiling opened up and you could see stars like in Madagascar. Check this out. Wow. Would you look at that? It's like billions and billions of helicopters. But that's just wishful thinking. Can't have everything in life, you know? And then we come over here to the bathroom. It's a little seating area. And then the bathroom. Oh, this is beautiful. And a big shower that I'm going to use right as soon as I'm done giving you a tour because your girl is salty from the beach today. There's lots of little Buddhas everywhere. <laughs> uh, not my religion, but it's all right. <laughs> Do you wanna stay with me in a tree house in Hawaii? Yeah, I thought so. And I haven't even given you guys a tour of the porch. I've just showered. I'm feeling fresh, rejuvenated, and kind of sleepy. The sun and the salt will do that to you. I also forgot to bring a sweater, which is literally so lame. Like, how did I forget to bring a sweater? But anyways, moving on. I just got into the kitchen to cook myself dinner, and I kind of realized that there's no oven, which is slightly problematic because my plan was to make a roasted chicken for dinner, but we're just gonna fry it instead. This is gonna be a delicious meal. Mm. Yummy. I never was someone who was okay with being alone. I always needed to be with people to be okay. I think that partially still stands true, but I do think I've become a lot more self-dependent than I ever was. I don't rely on other people to make me content anymore, you know? Having people is really nice. Some of my most favorite places have really only been just because of the people I was with, you know? This right now, like, oh, this is so peaceful. This is so relaxing. Like, I need more of this. Anyways, thank you for listening to my food thoughts. To finish out the evening in the best way, I popped myself a big bowl of popcorn and laid down to watch a movie.
Oh, it's a beautiful morning here by a volcano. There's a national park about five minutes that way. I've been there before and I filmed it actually. I'm gonna link the video right here if you're interested in it. One thing that's kind of cool about Volcano is that there's this frog that's everywhere else on the island that's super loud. It's like a cicada. And I just loved that it was complete silence when I was going to sleep last night. You couldn't hear a singular thing. Slowly but surely, I'm getting to see everything this island has to offer. It has eight climate zones in it. So if I drive an hour, I can be somewhere that looks completely different. It does rain a lot in Volcano, so it's almost guaranteed to rain later in the afternoon. However, in the mornings, the sun usually comes out and the birds can be heard super clear. I decided to take the morning slow, sip my tea and journal a bit before I cleaned up and got ready to leave. Anyways, I think I need to start packing up and getting ready to leave this beautiful bamboo tree house. This was a fun little escape. I'm glad I did this. This is actually an Airbnb, so if you guys are interested in renting it, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Thank you guys for letting me stay here. This was really fun and such a cool experience. So I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week. Bye! All of this is volcanic rock actually. So Kilorated Crater is about one mile that way. And that is an active volcano. Really it could erupt at any moment. It did last year. And there was an earthquake recently. I might be standing on molten lava and I just don't even know it.